I would be showing a live demo uh, of how to implement monitoring and alerting for your current application. So for now, we'll cover monitoring only into this video. And we'll be using Prometheus uh, open source monitoring tool uh, to implement that and a normal Spring Boot application just to expose some metrics. So this would be a metric, metrics based approach in which your Spring Boot application would just push some matrices and your Prometheus server will listen to those metrics. And on that matrix, we'll write some rules, we'll perform some operations and all. So yeah, just quickly start it. So first we'll download the Prometheus and uh, you can go to the official website of the Prometheus. Yeah, download section and what are the your OS you are using, you can choose the file I'm using Mac, so this one. I have already downloaded this, so just quickly cancel this and go to terminal. Yeah. So we'll first copy that file into our working directory. And yeah. Copy here and now we have to extract this file. So you can extract this. yeah so the file has been accepted you can see here and you can just cd into the folder and see yeah this is the package we got here the prometheus main file this is the configuration file so everything you can specify into the configuration let me show you the file yeah so these are some configuration uh, i can quickly quickly explain this uh, these are the basically the intervals uh, your server should sync with uh, the source like to update the matrix and to refresh the UI and all those things. Alerting I won't be covering into this video so that alert and uh, rule files I explained into the another video where I will just uh, tell you how you can implement the alert management and you can just implement the alerting so that you can receive mails and all those stuff when things are going beyond uh, like whatever the use case you have you can implement some rules and based on that rules you can write your alerts so that will be showing it to another video this scrap config here you can specify your source from where this server should read those matrix so here we will writing the uh, spring boot application uh, configs here okay so just let me show you how to run this you just need to write this one and it it will start a server okay this is something security issue let me fix that okay hello anyway yeah so you can see your service getting started and uh, yeah it started and it's running on the port 9090. Yeah, it's specified here. So you can just check quickly whether it is running or not. Yeah, so this is our Prometheus UI. Here, there is an alert. Yeah, you can skip this. Graph is for UI to see status have certain options, build information and flags and configurations that we have set it just now, rules, alert rules. Target is something what Prometheus is uh, pushing the pulling the matrix uh, from where it's pulling the matrix. So if you go to this UI, you can see the list of all the matrix that we have. Yeah, so this is the default matrix that Prometheus is currently being using. So it's showing it's currently up and running. And here you can generally evaluate any of the matrix that you want to uh, use and here you can see uh, what it's doing you can perform certain operations here you can write certain rules here so basically all those stuff you can do here so we'll come here at latter part uh, let's quickly jump to the spring boot section so we'll just write a simple rest endpoint and we'll be using that endpoint to expose our matrix so I'll just uh, tell you everything from scratch. So we'll be using string initializer to make things fast. 
So yeah, Maven Java, this, this, this here, you can give the name from yes, demo. This is what we are doing, Java 8. Dependencies, I will be writing our endpoint, REST endpoint. So for that, you can use Spring Web. Another one is for metrics. So there is something called actuator. Uh, yeah, this one. So this export URLs to access metrics. And there is something specific to Prometheus also that Spring has. So you can use to perform, uh, push your metrics a certain URL. So this is not like uh, uh, a mandatory thing, but this will make our work easier. So we can use this as well. And yeah, all thing is fine. So we can just generate it. And yeah, it's downloaded. So let's quickly extract this. And yeah, folder is there. Uh, we'll use any of the ID. I have IntelliJ ID. Okay, so open the folder. It's in downloads and yeah, demo. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay will take some seconds yeah here we are okay so we will write a just a basic controller yeah this would be your rest controller so you can give this an can just quickly write a get endpoint to test stuff yeah here you can use any test parameter any string or a number for now I will use in number anything printing that number just to test return anything okay okay so if our basic uh, structure is fine then our service should work So let's quickly run this. Uh, any of the language you can use, not like in Spring Boot and Java only you can do. Uh, every uh, package uh, and every language has some packages where you can just push your matrix. So for now, I'm using Java and Spring Boot. Yeah, so it started on 8080. So let's check whether the service is running or not. So there is a health check URL provided by uh, actuator. We have used that dependency, so we have a this actuator help. So yeah, it's showing your service is running and up, and you can test your API as well. So let's test number anything like ten nine. So it's working like okay and different yet. Yeah. So our uh, Spring Boot application is working fine. Now we have to create a matrix. So matrix can be of various types. Uh, it can be a timer, it can be a counter, gauge, histogram, etc. If you want a detailed explanation of type and use cases and live example of types of matrix, I can just create another video. You can just tell me on the comment section. But right now we'll be using counter. So 
for before counter we need to write a registry and where we will push those metrics so there is something called meter registry so we'll be using that we can initialize it by using a constructor meter registry and then we also will get the reference now we'll be using a counter yeah okay let's quickly write a function to build counter so it will just initialize your counter yeah here you can give the name of the counter anything might as counter and here you can specify the registry so now we have used meta registry so that will go here and it has some more properties like description and uh, units and all those stuff so that is not yet important like tag description based on but yeah for basic thing they should work yeah so code wise okay so this counter should be built at start so we'll call this here and what we'll do on uh, whenever we hit this api we'll just increment the value of the counter so by default it is zero and we'll just increment its value so you will write a increment function increment counter and it will just call up rebuild counter method yeah so here you can call it any given counter yeah so code wise it's okay now you need to tell uh, spring boot where to like push the matrix and all so for that you need to write a config here and application work property default i have already handy here you can specify all the paths like slash actuator slash prometheus slash health and all those stuff so here we'll be using slash prometheus okay so if all thing is fine uh, our server uh, should run uh, and uh, our actually application our api should work plus our application should push the matrix at slash actuator slash health url slash actuator slash prometheus url so let's see everything is work, running or not uh, a process is already running you can just quickly select. okay so let's start spring boot I'm getting started. Yeah, started at eight zero eight zero. So quickly check the API again. Yeah, I heard the API and yeah, it's working fine. Now you can check your actuator slash Prometheus whether it's yeah so see uh, all the matrix uh, that has been pushed by this application is showing here this is all the default matrix so here you can uh, find your as well like whatever we have written just now so we can quickly find that yeah this is my test counter this this is like a, a suffix added by itself so don't get confused here and my test counter it's a counter type uh, matrix and its value is one because just now we have uh, triggered it so our uh, spring boot service is fine it's pushing the matrix now we have to configure prometheus to listen this matrix so now again we'll open terminal we'll open the 
Prometheus configuration file. Okay, so this all are fine. Here you need to specify things. So this is the matrix path from where it should listen. So this is our this path. Uh, yeah, actuator from things. So I can just paste it here. And the port, like on the port are always running. So it's 8080. And uh, here you can overwrite the scrap interval as well. So right now the global scrap interval is 15 seconds. It's reading on every 15 seconds. If you want it to be overridden and you, if you wanted to use your, you can overwrite it. So let me do it or uh, something like that. Okay, that will be a plan. Yeah, so seems fine. If this is fine, then our matrix should be visible here. Let's check if the port is we have already a process running. Okay, so we'll just start this yeah it's loading the configuration file file is from this dot yaml if that file is correct then our server should start if not then it will throw some error taking time yeah server is ready to receive the web request and looks fine let's check okay so this was the url so here your matrix should come like you can check there as well if it is clear or not but let's check directly here so here if you see yeah this is appearing here so if you can evaluate this yeah it's telling it's uh, from 8080 its value is still one and guess what if you implement uh, if you just hit this api again and you see here it's two yeah if you hit here five four times yeah see it's seven yeah so your matrix is getting updated and by this application and now you can perform any operation you want on this matrix you can write certain rules you can write alert rules you can just write time based rule all those stuff you can do and there's a pretty cool ui as well so if you can see here yeah if i can just reduce it like last five minutes yeah so you can make a comparison here like this time the value was this and now it's two now it's six and now it's seven if i hit it one more time like two more times seven eight nine and you can see the change in the graph yeah it went from seven to nine yeah so it's a pretty cool thing uh that's all for now like uh, it was just how you can expose your matrix and you can read the matrix from prometheus server let me know in the comment section uh, what else you want i will be covering how you can now write alerts on this one on this uh, matrix so that you can receive emails on based on certain value for example if this value goes up to 50 then send me an email that thing i will show plus uh, i will show a more good and specific ui than this so there is something called grafana that we can implement and integrate with this from this server and there will be a more uh, featured ui available if you want to run into a production system so that will be a wonderful thing so that that's all for now i will upload this uh, code into my github repo i will just paste the link also yeah thanks for watching